One of these five roadblocks can ruin your future plans. Trust me, I know because it happened to me. So let's go from the top. Number one, poor time management. Number two, your goals are too big. Number three, lack of persistence. Number four, excuses. And number five, surroundings. Let's talk about it. So number one, time wasting. I had no idea how much time I was wasting until I ran something that's called Time Audit. It's a simple idea I learned about when reading a book titled Buy Back Your Time by Dan Martle. Have a read, it's a fantastic book, you'll learn a lot. So what's the secret here? It's really simple. You record what you're doing every 15 minutes throughout a day. You just need one day for it. And then you evaluate the results. It sounds a bit silly, but trust me, this technique is really effective. And apropos secrets, we have a fantastic video for you on nine secrets to jump ahead of 90% of your 3D competition in just 30 minutes. It's free and packed with valuable information. So give it a watch. I'm sure you'll find it useful. The link is in the video description. Now back to the time audits. There are multiple things we do throughout the day that are simply counterproductive. We do them because it's so easy to get distracted these days. You know, phones, games, YouTube, all the information flow is just chaos, right? But remember, the key element of success in anything that you do is focus, but not on random shit. You need to focus on 20% of tasks that yield 80% of results. I often hear people say, I do not have time for this. But is it really true? If you cut all the fluff from your day and focus when it matters and on what's most important for your growth, I guarantee you'll find how much time goes to waste. 15 minutes here, you know, 20 minutes over there and it all adds up. So go ahead, run a time audit and be honest with it. The results may be actually shocking. Number two, your goals are too big. That is really common. If you're new to Blender, right? And your vision board has renders of guys like Vitaly Bulgarov because, you know, that's what you want to model you'll get overwhelmed right think about it if you go to the store you don't need to plan your route it's close and you know the route very well but what if you wanted to travel from say london to a remote place in nepal you'll get there by going from place to place the whole trip is divided into sections that make sense so having a dream is nice but goals should be achievable set your goals in small increments and make them challenging but not intimidating to a level that will discourage you from even trying it's great to be you know, ecstatic about something and excited, but enthusiasm is not enough. You need to see things through, so, you know, pace yourself. Number three, you give up too easily. That is really common as well. Relationships, right? If you've been in one, then you know what I mean. And if you haven't, then I have some news for you. The first few weeks or month are great. And then the hard work begins. Now, getting into a relationship is really easy. Unless, you know, you have an account on Reddit, then you're fucked. But maintaining a relationship is another story. Now, why am I telling you this, right? Well, the same goes to studying or working. It's easy to start something, but the trick is to continue. If you do the same thing for a long period of time, and keep improving upon it, then you'll be successful. It's basic math. It's volume over luck. So pick one niche and go deep. In fact, go so deep, you'll be alone down there. And that's when you know you've made it. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to get to where you want to go. All that matters is that you just don't stop and you don't give up. That simple thing is what separates the 1% from the you know daydreamers, right? And trying is not good enough. A child tries and a man succeeds. You're here to get it done, not to moan about how much you tried and you know that you did your best. No one cares, okay? Nobody. The world only cares about the final result. It doesn't matter how hard your path was, all right? People will only care about your current skill level. So once you set those goals, make sure you can reach them. And that's how you progress. And number four, excuses. When we create a course and it doesn't sell well, it's our fault. When we create a video and it's not popular, it's our fault. When I want to do something in Blender, but I don't know how to do it, it's my fault. When I can't afford something I want, 
it's my fault. Do you see where I'm going with this? Stop blaming other things for your current situation. It's your choices, your decisions, and your mindset that got you to where you are right now. And it's also up to you to get out of it, right? So instead of coming up with excuses, come up with solutions. Instead of saying, I can't do it, and programming your brain with this kind of a weak attitude, ask yourself a question. What can I do to change the situation, right? How can I get this and that, etc. right? Unless you're dead, you got zero excuses not to get things done period and the last one is environment clean up your environment i mean that in the broadest way possible if you have friends who are process wasting time guess what you're gonna be the sixth ditch that lot right chase something better than you on a daily basis there's a wonderful chinese proverb right eat breakfast alone share dinner with your friend and give away your supper to your enemy only do things that benefit you and stop doing things that keep your wheels in the mud trying to make yourself feel better by wasting time won't work neither will justifying your situation by surrounding yourself with people who are useless yes they will understand you and yes they will sympathize with you but do you know why because the horizons are narrow and their expectations are low next clean up your space make it feel like a workspace i know it's not always possible i built blender bros together with josh from one room which i shared with my wife i had to deal with noise things that were in my way distractions and all kinds of issues did it stop me did it fuck if you cannot bend the environment to your will train your mind to adjust until you can change it if you really want to achieve something you will find a way are you out